Hello everyone, um, I'd like to make a short video, try to keep it short again. Um, I installed the bellows and exhaust bellow, uh, drive shaft bellow, and here is how I went about it. Um, this is the, uh, the sealer that I used. Now, here's what I used last year. I want to show you guys this. Now, this is a very high tack. Uh, bellow, bellow adhesive and what I found is it is messy 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 stuff to work with um, you get it everywhere and you have to move quick um, it did seem to work I'm going on year three where I have had a hole in my bellows um, and what that ended up being is that it was oversteering to the one side and I was getting a hole every year. It was pinching on the outside because it was oversteering way too far. I took care of that and I'm open to any suggestions. Um, I went and adjusted the linkage as far as I could. Now the manual calls for three and a quarter inches is how far that should be from that jam nut right there. Three and a quarter inches of thread. Um, what I ended up doing is I backed that off trying to adjust that steering so that it would be the same degree both ways and what ended up happening is I was down to three quarter inch being exposed out of that jam nut and it just did not seem right to me um, maybe a new steering cable would be the way to go I'm not sure if it's that far worn I really don't think so everything runs smooth operates smooth um, I ended up putting fabbing my own plate and that's gonna stop that steering rod from over steering in that direction and I hope that takes care of my problem because three years in and replacing these bellows every year and getting water in that means I have to replace the gimbal bearing because usually those were shot running it on the river heavy sand um, this year I ended up putting in new U-joints and everything because they were knocking when I would do full tilt up my trim. So got the new U-joints, new gimbal bearing, new bellows, um, and I'm really just kind of going out on my own here and I'm using the gasket sealer sealing compound instead of that high tack stuff. And that's what I use for that inner lip. You can see the brown on the bottom is going to be this gasket sealing compound. The reason I did that is because the other stuff is very, very hard to work with. And I want to show you guys that that is what the manual calls for. If I can find it here. Okay, right here. You can see that they're using their OMC gasket sealing, sealing compound and I believe it's going to be a lot easier to work with I hope I get the results that I'm looking for um, and that I don't get any water in this year so I'm going to, going to be moving on to installing the pivot housing um, how I'm going to do that is you see my shift cable I got this fished in there um, I went and I covered the end because you don't want any dirt in there or sand <clears throat> which there's plenty that came out of that tube so I had it covered and used the old cable attached to it and pulled it in um, you want to take the inner core out before you do that as you can see I got the inner core hanging here ready to be installed when I'm attached to that pivot housing so yeah all right here we go um, this is ready for the inner core once I get that pivot housing on I'll push it through through the back side now that pivot housing is gonna go like this basically this gets the c-clamp and that's easy enough just pop the c-clamp in um, I did not use any sealing compound on the exhaust bellow there is no use for it um, it's got the open bottom ribbed bottom it gets water in there anyways uh, it's got a flapper on the inside um, which I replaced as well because I seen that was burnt out. So I'm going to apply the gasket sealing compound all the way around 
and install this pivot housing. Um, hopefully, man, I hope I don't get a leak this year. I hope this is the first year I can run it and take that out drive off and not have to worry seeing water. So I think that's about everything. Um, I'm going to clean this up. I have to clean off all that high tack stuff and it's not going to be all that great to get off. I'll probably use some, some mineral spirits and try to soften it up. Get a nice clean surface. Put gasket sealing compound around, around here. Slide it into the lip. And I'll also be doing the same with the outdrive. I'm going to put a coat on this inside channel and then I will put some on the outdrive itself, slide it on, and hopefully I get a watertight contact there. Um, this is what I'm doing. If anybody else has any other suggestions, or I tried looking up to see if anybody was using a gasket sealing compound instead of bellow cement and I couldn't find any information on it so I'd be curious to see what you guys think. Okay, thanks for watching.